Nearly 100 organizations across New York are calling for a boost in funding for early intervention providers due to a backlog of requests for services for the very youngest in our state. Isabel Garcia joins us in the studio with more on why the timeline in, is so critical for these children. Isabel. Yes, Teresa, that's really what it comes down to here, the timeline of accessing this care, which under the Disabilities Education Act, children have a right to access within 30 days. Certainly this is not going to be the sexiest topic that we take up uh, in the new legislative year, but it may be the one that has the most critically important impact on the lives and the future of children in New York. 94 organizations have signed a letter urging Governor Kathy Hochul to boost the budget for early intervention providers. These services address the child's physical, occupational, or speech therapy and can also include psychological programs for the child and their family. Speakers address the need across the state, saying the most recent data in 2020 shows one third of infants and toddlers in New York are waiting more than 30 days to see a provider. So, why are we so concerned about this? The reason why these timelines are so important is because 85% of brain development happens before age three. This is a time when synapses are forming rapidly and connections are made that will change the course of a child's life particularly a child who has a developmental delay or disability. The letter requests the governor to include an 11% increase in early intervention reimbursement rates for next year's budget, noting little changes in the sector in decades. Early intervention therapists have received minimal raises over the past 20 years. In fact, their payment rates now are lower than they were in the 1990s. Providers have left for a multitude of reasons. Sometimes it is all the unpaid time that we spend on our paperwork and our planning. Um, we have limited benefits, limited health um, care packages, no reimbursement for gas or wear and tear on our cars, um, and the long hours that surpass a nine to five job. And Assemblymember Jensen, uh, who was there, also made note his son is currently receiving support thanks to early intervention services. He himself received that when he was a child as well. And uh, just a little data point here. In 2020, the most recent data shows about 2,200, excuse me, infants and toddlers in Monroe County alone had waited more than 30 days for care, with leaders saying that number in a snapshot last year was already closer to about 350 children. So just noting the seriousness of this matter. For now, though, we'll send it back to you at the desk. Thank you, Isabel. The organization hosting this statewide call for action, the Children's Agenda, is holding a virtual teach-in on Monday the 12th at 7 in the evening. We're going to put the details about that event at rochesterfirst.com.